The Paul Bunyan Trail covers 120 miles from Bemidji to Brainerd, and now a new trail is in the works to continue the path from Brainerd. Our Anthony Scott has the story. Don't quit! I have the Paul Bunyan Trail in my district. The people in Little Falls haven't quit, and an idea that started back in 1991 is finally coming to life as the groundbreaking was held today for a new trail that will connect the Paul Bunyan Trail to the Sioux Line Trail. It will be 500 miles of continuous paved trail. It will create the longest paved trail in the world. The Camp Ripley Veterans Trail is planned to be 32 miles long, starting south of Little Falls and ending at the Crow Wing State Park. One unique facet of the Camp Ripley Veterans State Trail is that it is proposed to be a multi-use trail, meaning that not only bikers, but also ATVers and snowmobilers can enjoy the trail. I've worked with the snowmobilers in the past and the ATVers, and I've promoted their trails. And, you know, biking, you know, is something that hasn't been big in the area, but it's growing fast. We have now have a bike club. And Little Falls is lacking bike trails for that growing community. As you can see, it's someplace it's only two feet wide. I mean, it's kind of dangerous for bikers, but they do have a trail that's designated along the Mississippi, and uh, that's our only trail and the tourism aspect cannot be overlooked. And you're going to get people coming in from all over. Uh, people from out of the, this country who love biking look for opportunities like this. One issue throughout the process has been getting land for the trail, but Camp Ripley stepped up, allowing the committee to bypass a tricky section of the trail. Trying to get land acquisition from Randall to Pillager, that leg would have been almost impossible. It would have took 20, 30 more years. The celebration today was about the first section of the trail from Lindbergh State Park to Mill Island Park being approved, and an almost 30-year-old idea finally getting a sign of life. Reporting from Little Falls, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. No date has been set for the completion of the trail, and the board is still in the process of acquiring all the land necessary for the construction. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.